Oh, good morning. How do you do? Lots of surprises are waiting for you. On your mark, you're ready, go. It's time to show the JP and Ted Show. Hi, Ted Harris, Harris Puppets here today. And today we've got a great show here to you. A lot of fun stuff, busy stuff. A lot of great fun stuff. A lot of great fun stuff. But first, I want to talk about this dream I had. had last time I dreamt it was at school again. Again, then I was thinking about school a lot. And there was Big Bird and David, Louise from Sesame Street. I was going to class and all that. I was saying, I don't think I'm appreciated. And then David said, Don't worry, I appreciate you. And he gave me a hug and we went upstairs, bounced up to class a bit. We were in class, and Louise greeted the teacher and all that. And then she was trying to see why we're in her drama class with us. I was at the table at the desk, we're giving work she used to do. I was giving the hard work to she along with some other nerdy kid because of my brain caliber and all that. It was a hard work she used to do along with some nerdy kids. Anyway, I, they're okay. I got B plus. One night too long. I too long. On I put so much effort up the work I had to go up. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, it was pretty good. And we also had to recite original monologue and all that. Anyway, my mind log was about birds and flowers and all that, and fish and all that. And so, anyway, anyway, Big Bird was reminding me of this watch what time it was. We had to go to another class. Uh, said the bell rang and all that. And then, then Luis and David and Big Bird gathered up all the students and all that, went to the next class. I thought, I don't know what happened next. I could go on, but this is actually one of the many more Sesame Street dreams I've had. I could go on. Anyway, right now I'd like to show my favorite cartoons. It's a great cartoon, and I hope you enjoy it.
go look around. What do you think is going on here? You think we're on vacation or something? Mom and Dad's lives could be in jeopardy, or worse, their marriage. Their marriage? So the bad guys are trying to wreck Mom and Dad's marriage. Oh, forget it. You're so mature. Okay, I'm gonna go look Mom around. Mom said to stay hidden. I'm not gonna leave the cave. good time and all that or probably oh, that was a weird cartoon and all that how about that cartoon it was that car what well, turned a bird with the candy bar head and all that or pick my head and all that i go away and now we'll we'll speed walk for no reason Matt. Matt. 
And now we'll dance like an idiot while Lizzie plays the trombone. And now, here's Bruno. Okay. So, Bruno, how you like Pirate Puppet Shows? I like Pirate Puppet Shows as well. Joke! Pirate Puppet is cool. You have weird ones. Ones. Now you're gonna see why I like, like Harry Potter shows. Harry Potter shows is spell. Joke! Harry Potter shows. Is, Harry Potter shows is cool. You have weird ones. Ones. It's quite a bit you had to go through. So. Now I'm going to count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna say the alphabet for no reason. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay. Up here. No. Anyway. 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 Here's another extraordinary cartoon. So ladies and gentlemen, here's another extraordinary cartoon. Once upon a time, there was a haunted hotel where there was a monster. Every night he screamed, bloody fingers, all that. The woman stayed in that hotel room. And he screamed, bloody fingers, bloody fingers. She was so scared she ran off. Oh. Then there was a man who stayed in that hotel room. He screamed, the monster screamed, bloody fingers, bloody fingers. Here's so scary, he ran off. Then this guy showed up. He kept playing the guitar, the monster screamed, bloody fingers, bloody fingers. He kept playing the guitar, the monster screamed, bloody fingers, bloody fingers. He, he kept playing the guitar. He screamed, bloody fingers, bloody fingers. Well, he got fed up and yelled, Call it, man! Get yourself a bad aid! Hi, I'm Ted Harris of Harris Puppets. Since it's raining today, I decided a, a scary story is perfect for this rainy day. It's time for a story. A dark tale going to scare the living daylights out of you. So, enjoy. Oh boy, what a night be driving. It's Halloween too. It's creepy. Oh boy, what I get be back at home, snug and warm. What's up ahead? Ah, gas station. Uh, pardon me. Is this alcohol this way to alcohol plantation? Yeah, but yeah, sir. Yes it is, but no one's there. I'd advise you to turn back. It's not safe in this weather. Thanks. <laughs> How do I get these buses anyway? Who would have thought we're driving a holy dark road looking for an old mansion? Well, what can I do? Last week I could see that little team I inherited at any ball mansion inside 10 miles, miles outside of Natchez, Mississippi. That's where my grandmother lived there for 90 years. Boy, it's a long time. Let's see, the mansion was built, I think, in 1820. And it had a very tragic and mysterious history. I believe one of my ancestors father was death when Wendell was a small child. As weird as the story goes, as I recall, the window of which was the close clock following the accident. It's kind of weird. And anyway, the child's mother recovered from the loss, but originally the house again. Years later, she passed away. Her blind and little girl, ever since the night of the accident. Her she only walked at night, clad in a gossip white and young, clearing all the words for it, she said for the rest of her life. My baby. You see my baby. It's kind of spooky. Legend has a story where it's like this. I'm going to be White goes to form walks the halls at Elm Hall. And you hear a ghostly voice saying, My baby. See my baby. Ah, that's silly. Things that only happen in movies. And yet, those who have heard of Diamond Series in the past year. Or <laughs> That's funny how these stories can start. Passed over generation to generation. If the eldest son of Elm Hall is Diamond Series for his 25th year. Wait a minute. It won't be 25 times a week. Hey, better be careful, boy. <laughs> oh, the story just getting stormier. Lightning! Woo! Oh. What was light back then? Pretty service a bit. 
horses, carriages, the oh, the fuel, little sudden bells. Ah, yes, right off the Elm Hall with old God. Well, Beth, Elm Hall with the pride of the old self. Beth's right today. My luck. I still remember another story about the place. What was that? Oh, yeah, something about daughter, or about Elm Hall. It was exceptionally beautiful. I remember an old, old photograph I saw of her. She was beautiful. Even the old timey picture. Let's see. I think it was during the war. That's it. Her name was Elizabeth. She fell in love with the Yankee lieutenant. Her father went to a wild rage and clothes and couldn't see the lieutenant again. For weeks she stayed in her room. Then one day news came. Her lover had been killed in the war. That afternoon she wrote her favorite horse. Wow, what was his name? Um, um, Dancer. That's his Dancer. She wrote Dancer down to the Mississippi. Of course, returned to Elmhole last, last night. Brightness. I recall the story. Two boys fish our salt on a sandbar and started to float by. The boys returned to M. Hall and she burned the ground the plantation. See how the salt reached with a death cell. So you could hear a rush of wind like wire passing by. And the splash box hanging on the oak tree out front. Parts. If somebody passed through. That's creepy. So it's Elizabeth looking for a lover. Yeah, I was handed to a horse dancer looking for her. For every day for the rest of his life. Her horse bought a bridle step in the Mississippi. We paid him until night for a little bit of turn. We'll slow back into the street, um, hall. Wait a minute, it's something up ahead. That's it, yeah, that's the old place, it's um, hall. Well, let's see the car, Stephen. Go ahead and look around. What upstairs? It's open. Curtis for a while, look at that. He's got a white on up there. Nah, it's not white. What? Think you're matching things. Well, it's creepy. Well, how far door's open? Glad about this flashlight. Hope it doesn't conk out of me. Oh wow, what a beautiful place. Kinda of eerie though. Same kind of living room. Wait, no, it's a front parlor, that's what I call it. Look at this ring. Oh! <coughs> oh great. All set. I'm gonna get out of my nose. But well, look at that marble fireplace. That must be worth a fortune. What's that? See if you pour from a fireplace. Wait, it's Elizabeth. Has to be Elizabeth. The girl lost her lover in the Civil War. Oh boy, she beautiful. Mmm. It's kind of like going back in time. Wait a minute. A pipe organ over there. That's kind of worth a fortune. What's that? Not a portrait. It's a Confederate general. I wonder who he is. Oh my god. Holy cow. His eyes moved. What did he did move. I swear his eyes moved. His eyes are real. Steven, you gotta hold yourself. Come on. The only picture in the eyes didn't move. It looked like it did. Let's go to the hybrid holy one. Oh darn. There goes the flashlight. What time to go out? What's that? Is that the wind? No oh, footsteps. Can't be footsteps. It's just imagination. God, they're coming nearer. They're coming nearer. God, I gotta stop this. Look right past me. This is me. They must want me here. I can't see anything. It's so dark. the organ. It's possible don't we play the organ, only one here. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Wait, somebody. This looks like a woman. I think she's wearing a white gown. She's coming this way. She's like, right at me. She's looks like, right at me. There's see me. My baby. Have you seen my baby? My baby. Have you seen my baby? My baby. Have you seen my... Oh no. Oh no. She just went right through the wall. It's a dream. It's just a dream. Just a dream. My heart is about to explode. Good Lord, what was that? It's right here. It just missed me. It's just like a... God. Um, I can't make a call. It's a grandfather's clock. It's a grandfather's clock. Please. What's that? Oh no. Not bad. It's bad. I can't stand bad. Go away. Go away. Go away. Hey. I'm fire. I can't take you lower. You're here while I still can. Which order? This way. No, it's this way. No, it's not. But left, went right. Oh, give me out of here. Give me out of here. Wait, the door. What all of it? What was God? All of it. All of it. All of it. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Ah! Oh, thank you. All of it. What? What's that? A horse. I'm getting out of here before you go mad. Ah! Oh, no. The car won't start. Darn it. Start. Ah! Wait a minute. Start. Oh, sorry. Turn it easy on. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh thank you, Garmin. Mm -hmm. 
I'm never going near that place again. That's it. I got all of that place. I don't care what I do for it. I got to unload it. I'll take anything. Just throw a copy. Let me try to talk. Yeah, it's a gas station. <laughs> Good. Well, well, well. You have the old place after all, huh? Yeah. Is there a place to spend the night? Um, hotel, motel? Hotel, let's see. The Jeb Sewer Hotel is alright. A place in. That's a subtreeway. You know, I saw a place when I came into town. Was there any place else? No. That is the only place in town. But I tried to find a place in the charge. I know, because I own it. <laughs> oh boy. One other thing, it's a real estate first time. You know, I'm talking to the Dixon Company. Dixon Company, you know, it's the only place in town for that much. And I own that too. <laughs> So I do enjoy that story. Did you enjoy it? I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. That's really amazing. Anyway, it's Ted Harris over now. Hey! Hi, Ted. I'm here to tell you a tale about tricky and treating. I was like the Halloween like you and I. I was chasing, I was out riding with my ruby little. Yay! I was doing my best. Starting the best of it all, me. And start a black cat that dare crawl like that. Boom! All of a sudden, ah! That's what was quite deep, right? Madame Goose, this. Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat for Halloween. Da 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 da. Uh oh, the boy. Ha <laughs> ha. Hello, trick or treat. Ah, for you and you and you. Thank you. Bam. Woo. Peace be love. Woo. There you go, boy. Ha ha ha. And here's our tree. Ha ha. Oh, hard to get trick that boy. I decided to help him. Oh, bless his little black heart. I saw the whole thing, kids. That means about thank you. About what? A real witch. And the joy. Oh yeah? He thought I was another kid. So he got one of me too. <laughs> that quacking growl is tougher than I thought. Listen, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I need to buy great ingredients. I poured in some hot water. Now if I can buy me my room, you probably start to tell anyone. I can help. Don't tell anyone. Promise? Here, well, here it is. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. I have Neil Tuggum's shoe. Have you got the points at two? Rather than a white house shoe stack. Neck of bottle, tail of coat. Whiskers of a fairy goat. Ah, repulses. It's a pack of one. <laughs> but they scream. Unloaded. It's not a squirt gun. Mm. Really? What the heck was that? Probably didn't realize that was a real witch. Oh, I don't believe this. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat for Halloween. Or here's a treat that's good to eat if you want to keep life ring. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Let her drink the whole night through. A scowl eyes, a thing his eyes will make it tough on you. Someone goes and goblins by the score. Bring the bell at your front door. Better not be said to your drivers will come true. Now, are you going to treat or not? Heh, <laughs> get that. Right away. I don't understand. I do not realize how stubborn that guy can become. Kids, this guy is a pushover. Pushover? Oh, yeah? Yeah, that kitty, Hulk. Mm-hmm. I'm just for that itching we had to spill on you. And so, how good both this magic shower for his feet was in my power. Hey, what was that stuff? See, get out that key. <laughs> Yummy, look at him down. Oh, death to the beast of the sun. I was like, what's that? 
So it's like classy kids like like hot peppers ice cream, right? That they delicious. They're nutritious. Mmm, that's good. Try the hot peppers. Uh oh. <laughs> the Gabby Star treats. That's right, Gabby Star treat. Your dog loves to learn taste, but just a hit of cheese. Well, this is Ed Hurl Ray. Anyway, I'm doing poison poison. Basically, uh, I'm looking forward to it because every time. I'm, and we have Maynard on the show, which we usually do. He usually does an expert on me and messes me up. I'm Maynard! Maynard! Where is he? Hmm, I guess, I guess he's not around. I guess maybe I can do this. Uh, it seems that, that I'll have to, to have the next guest a la carte. Wait a minute, you're, you were set by me here, I'll lose. What was the right one thing to do in this case? Help! Ah! Amanda, she never wakes up. Hey kids, now it's time to play along. So grab your Humpty Dumpty puppet, my friend Ted showed I my friend Ted showed you how to build, and let's have a puppet show. All you have to do is follow along with the music awards. We take you now to Ben Garland with another fast working news story. Well, here we are at the scene of the accident. Take you to the scene of the accident. As you know the story, Humpty Dumpty saddle wall, Humpty Dumpty high grade fall, all the king's horses, all the king's men are trying to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. And, uh, wait a minute, you're a cow. You don't fit in, you're a cow. <laughs> Come on, get out of here, go, go, go. Well, I'm speaking with one of the king's men right here. And what do you think? Well, uh, Dumpty's a pretty tough egg, you know. You know, they probably call hard boiled and all that. But we had rainfall and all that. You, know, you can see part of him down there. Part, there's part of him down there. Well, i got things to do. All right, they're working it. They're putting it on the bottom and the top. And worth it. And there. Yay! Yay! Humpty Dumpty's the back of the wall. He's quite amazing. Yeah, well, great. Hi, Ben Garland. Oh, how do I look? Thank you. How do you feel right now? Well, I feel like a brand new person. It's great to see you. Humpty Dumpty back on the wall. Uh, uh, horses, King Ben. Uh, you knocked Humpty Dumpty on the wall. Get him out of here. Get out of here. Oh my god, I don't believe this. Well, we're taking you now to our regularly scheduled program. And that's our puppet show. Hi, Ted Harris of Harris Puppets. And now for Halloween, it's time to scare tell a story. A scary tale guaranteed to scare you. 
I present to another story tell. It was nine o'clock in the evening. The babysitter was sitting in front of the TV watching it. The children had been put to bed earlier. She was alone watching watching TV. So the lights began to flicker and go out. Oh, casually, the babysitter took a flashlight and going down to the fuse box. So you heard a sound. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Scrape! Baby Sir Russ was coming up the stairs. So the baby Sir Russ was stairs. And the sound keeps getting louder. Scrape! 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 Baby Sir reaches for the door. Her hand is trembling, her heart beating fast. Sweat pours on her face. She opens the door. The children are in bed. Okay, when she looks closely at the children, she sees that. No, they made this! It's just a pool of mushy goo, like spaghetti with meat. He starts screams and turns around, and she runs, runs down the stairs faster and faster. She comes face to face with this big hairy guy. She raises the right arm with a big metal hook, and the hook comes to me in the face. Scream, scream, scream! And nobody ever saw the babysitter again. This is your storyteller. Ted Harris wish you happy Halloween. Stay tuned for more. Well, happily we have fun today. But sadly, it's time to say goodbye and all that. I see by the clock, it's getting cold and all that. If the snow starting to fall, so it's time to wrap up. Wrap up the show. So we had a great show. But sadly, it's time to say goodbye. So you can see, tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell people like, people hate, all, all people that spawn our puppet shows, so why amazing. And there's me, Way Share, Tonda Joe, in the bug, do a crazy stunt, we'll find him, we'll, please share with us. If you can see, tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell people like, people hate, all people that spawn our on the Jamie and Ted show. Don't like to live, we'll find where we live, club up your house. Next time, we've had lots and lots of fun, you know. But now it's time to go. If death shall reign, error reign, error reign, I'll be in heaven still doing this show. See you next. See you next time.